Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to get Netflix, Amazon Prime, Spotify and even Disney Plus up and running on your Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3 or 4. All that we're really doing is installing a spoofed Chromium web browser with Widevine DRM built in so that we can use all of these streaming services on our Raspberry Pi. And all that you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi with Raspbian already installed on it. If you want to know how to do that, just check out my previous video. But before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And now, let's get started. First of all, you're going to have to switch to your Raspberry Pi and open up the terminal. Then you'll need to update the software by typing sudo apt update. As well as sudo apt upgrade. Depending on your internet connection, this can take up to 5 minutes. As soon as you've done that, you'll need to reboot the Pi in order to save the changes, so simply type sudo reboot. Once you've done that, you're ready to install the spoofed Chromium web browser. Thanks to a man named Vince over on vpetcarve.net, you won't have to download and unzip several files in order to do this. You're simply going to have to type the following short command. As you can see, you should be able to access Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney+, HBO, Spotify, Pandora, as well as Hoopla. But before you can test it out, go ahead and reboot your Pi one more time. Now that you've successfully installed everything, just click on the menu icon and open up the new browser, which is located in the Internet category. Now you can open up Netflix and sign in. As you can see, it's very laggy due to the fact that my Wi-Fi is completely overloaded because my entire family is working from home due to the coronavirus, but if yours isn't, it should work perfectly fine though. Now let's test one more streaming service which will be Amazon Prime. Once again, it's quite laggy. Just a small side note, overclocking your Raspberry Pi is going to help out a lot with loading speeds. You can check out my previous video on how to do that. Hopefully you've managed to get everything up and running, including Disney Plus and Spotify. If this video helped you out, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, and enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.